the same scene again. Oh, <laughs> where's Doc when you need him? Come on, Clara, back to the future. Hey guys, my name is Caroline. I'm a Brazilian living in Canada. And today we're gonna watch Back to the Future part three. I know this one has been a long time coming, but honestly, I think I love the Back to the Future franchise so much that I wasn't ready to say goodbye just yet. But I really need to know how this amazing trilogy ends. So here I am. Please stick around until the end because I'm gonna give my review on the trilogy and let you guys know which one of the three movies is my favorite one. And please let me know in the comments if you agree with me, which one among the three is your favorite one, and if there are any Easter eggs, callbacks, details that I might have missed. But before we begin, please don't forget to leave a like and share this video with your friends and family. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Also, if you'd like to watch the full-length reaction to this movie and all the other movies and shows that I post on this channel, please Please check the first link in the description down below. But now, without any further ado, let's begin. Steven Spielberg. I'm not ready for this. 1955, 10.03 p.m. Right before that happens. I love that we always see all the scenes like multiple times. It's so great. Amazing. It worked! Yay! And now the other McFly will show up. Yep. <laughs> right on cue. I'm back from the future. <laughs> Poor dog. He cannot rest. <laughs> How are they gonna do this? Because even if Marty can go back to 70 years in the past, how is he gonna come back? How is he gonna bring Doc back? There's no energy for him to do that. They're gonna have to figure something out. They're, they're gonna need to be really creative on this one. <laughs> oh, he's carrying Doc? Oh, wow. And it's interesting because they don't need to be in a hurry because they can go back at any point in time, right? So they have all the time in the world to figure this out. Last night's time travel experiment was a complete success. I love that now in this new timeline, he will use all this information to actually create the time machine. Ported forward through time into the year 1985. And it's interesting because his relationship with Marty is very specific. I wonder if he went after Marty because he knew that Marty would be important in his life. We're in the DeLorean and it got struck by lightning and he got sent back to 1885. Oh, 1885. If the me of the future is now in the past, how could you possibly know about it? You sent me a letter. Nice. I've been living happily these past eight months in the year 1885. Eight months? Suitable replacement parts will not be invented until 1947. Also, he doesn't have enough technology to make it work. Amazing. I actually end up as a blacksmith in the old west. <laughs> I love that he thinks that's amazing. I have buried the DeLorean in the abandoned hill cemetery as shown on... That's interesting. Did he leave the letter with the government? Because they would definitely go after the machine. He probably used a specific company that he knew would still work in 19... 85. I repeat, do not attempt to come back here to get me. Oh, he doesn't want to go back. These are my wishes. Please respect them and follow them. Oh, so he doesn't even want Marty to go back to find him then. You made a real difference in my life. I will always treasure our relationship. Oh, that's so sweet. I never knew I could ride anything no, so touch. No, no, it's beautiful. <laughs> we may have to blast. Cool, so will the time machine still be there? Probably, right? I'm gonna document everything! Oh, that's so cute! I love this dog! Ooh, it's still there! Circuit control microchip. The attached... And he left all the instructions. Doc is amazing. What do you mean, Doc? All the best stuff is made in Japan. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm gonna spend my future in the past. That's a great sentence. Spurnicus! Spurnicus, come on, let's go home, boy. What is the dog doing? What's wrong, Spurnicus? Come on. <gasps> That's his grave. Oh no. Shot in the back by 
someone. Oh no, someone who killed Doc. That's why he will have to go after him. September 7th, 1885. That's one week after you wrote the letter. Oh, right after he wrote the letter. The notorious gunman. Oh, it's the same actor that played Biff. William McFly and family. Your relatives? Oh, Marty's relatives. Good looking guy. <laughs> same actors. <laughs> Love it. It's me. It is true. Oh, he created the the clock, the clock tower. And I'm going back to 1885 and I'm bringing you home. Yes. You have to wear the boots. You can't wear those futuristic things back in 1885. Yeah, but he needs to wear the Nikes, right? It's probably under contract. <laughs> Some tree that once existed in the past. Oh, completely open country. Oh, good. Good research, man. I get shot on Monday the 7th, so you have five days to locate me. According to five days. Doc was there for eight months. <laughs> Why five days, dude? See you in the future. You mean in the past. past. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh, no. Oh, that's the cave that Doc mentioned. Oh my god. Hi, dude. Oh, that's heavy, as Marty would say. Uh oh, that's really bad. Oh no. Oh no. You're just gonna leave the car there, dude? We need to, like, cover with something. Oh no. Oh no. Who is it? Maggie! Oh, it's him! <laughs> so that's his family, like, way back in the day. Mom, mom, is that you? Oh, the same scene again! <laughs> You're safe and sound here now at the McFly farm. McFly Farm! <laughs> Who are you? Maggie McFly. McFly? Oh my god, those actors probably had a great time doing all of those movies. And what might your name be, sir? Eastwood? Eastwood. Uh, Clint. <laughs> Clint Eastwood. James. Me husband. Oh, I love her accent. How is it that you came to be way out here without a horse or boots? Or a hat. <laughs> he always looks so odd to everyone <laughs> around him. Would you like some water? Uh, yeah. <gasps> Look at the color of the water! <laughs> oh no! I think you'll find that barn comfortable. Mm. Seamus, a word with you. Oh, I don't think she likes the idea of a stranger staying with them. Look how my Bobby takes to him. Little Will never takes to strangers. Mm, he's not a stranger, though. So you're my great-grandfather. Oh, his great-grandfather. Oh. Oh, he's peeing. <laughs> and you peed on me. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna wear the shoes the entire movie, I bet. You <whistles> Wally. Oh, wow. Oh wow, it looks so different. I love it. Oh, there's always a party, right? I remember that in the first one was the prom and the second one, the prom, and then this one will be another thing. <gasps> They're building the tower. Oh, nice. Why, I didn't know the circus was in town. Yeah, he he looks too colorful. I'll have uh, ice water. <laughs> ice water. <laughs> ice water. Oh no, dude, you're so out of place. In here, we pour whiskey. Yeah, he's too underage, though. I don't think he drinks. Hey, McFly. You want to change, McFly? Oh, he's always had problems with this other family then. Like, his family always had problems. I'm looking for that no good cheating blacksmith. You see, no, you're mad, Doc Tannen. Oh, no. Mm, 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 mm. Bad idea, dude. Crash. You can dance, <laughs> He's Milwaukee. 
Oh wow. sentence and he, he just arrived where's doc when you need him oh no 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 somebody help him is it doc it is doc yay <laughs> Well, since you never paid me for the job, I say that makes us even wrong. Oh no, that's why he would like he would die. You owe me five dollars for the whiskey and seventy-five dollars for the horse. That's the eighty dollars. Yeah, that's the eighty dollars. The reason why he died. Shot in the back over a matter of eighty dollars. And who's Clara? And who's this beloved Clara? I don't oh, she, he doesn't even know her yet. And you volunteered to meet the new school teacher at the station when she came in? Oh, yes. Is the teacher the Clara girl? Her name's Miss Clayton. Clara Clayton. That's her! <laughs> it's romantic nonsense. There's no scientific rationale. It's not science. Yeah, there's nothing to do with science. What is this? Ice tea? Oh! <laughs> never meet the woman there's no possibility of a romantic infatuation right oh he doesn't even want to meet her you mean we're out of gas it's not gonna be a gas station around here until sometime in the next century oh no he won't be able to go back i mean of course he will but they're gonna have to figure it out a different way bartender says that's the strongest stuff they got oh no Oh no, they're just making things worse. It'll take me a month to rebuild it. A month? Oh no, he'll die in five days. That's it. How fast did she go? Why, I've had her up to 55. Oh, they're gonna use the train. Tell me, when's the day train come through here? Monday morning at 8 o'clock. Oh, Monday morning. That's the date, though. Right, Doc, but according to this map, there is no bridge. Oh no, it's not ready yet. The bridge will exist in 1985. It's safe and still in use. Oh yeah, but if it doesn't work, he'll die. <laughs> Great Scott! Oh, that's probably Clara. He'll meet her anyways. And Doc will be her knight in shiny. Oh, they're gonna fall in love. We'll... Doc bring her to the future though. Oh wow. Oh no, her stuff! She lost everything. You saved my life. Uh oh. Uh oh. Clara Clayton. What a beautiful name. Oh, Doc! It's too late now. He's already in love. I'm almost glad that snake spooked those horses we might never have met. Suppose it was destined. Oh my gosh. Oh, Doc. Yeah. How will your science explain this, man? After all, Miss Clayton almost ended up at the bottom of Clayton Ravine. <gasps> Clayton Ravine. Oh, the name of the ravine was because someone died and he saved her. That's this here. <gasps> he saved her, so it's okay for him to be with her because she would have died anyways. I wish I'd never invented that infernal time machine. Cause nothing but disaster. Um... I mean, it helped his dad to get confidence. <laughs> I apologize for the crudity of this model, but yeah, I just... Yeah, no, Dark, it's not to scale. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's amazing. Every time, he builds everything perfectly. What does this mean? But once we pass this windmill, it's the future or bust. Oh, okay, good to know. Hello? Oh no, it's Clara! I would pay you, of oh, course. No, 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 I wouldn't think of charging you for this. Of course not. But if you turn it the other way. Mmm, Clara. <laughs> uh. <coughs> Tonight's the town festival. You are planning on attending. Of course, the festival. Oh, of course, Hugo. Thank you for taking care of my telescope. You're quite welcome. Oh, his face. May it stand for all time! It will, apparently. 
Oh, I thought Doc created the clock, but he was just there in the inauguration day, apparently. Too bad I didn't bring my camera. Oh, they're gonna take a picture. The only problem is... Oh, so they're changing the original picture because in the original one, Doc was by himself. Oh, Doc, come on. You need to focus, man. He's gone. <laughs> you look very nice. Thank you. Well, ask her to dance, dude. So, in this timeline, he changed everything anyways, because in his gravestone, it says like, oh, Clara, his beloved Clara or something like that. So he did save her anyways, because he was there. So he did change the timeline anyways, even if Marty didn't like go back in time, I guess. Are you sure that blacksmith's gonna be this here? Oh no, this guy, come on. Just like you, Tan, and I take every advantage. Oh, this is the guy who works in the school, right? The only party I'll be smiling at is the one that sees you at the end of a rope. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's how you handle him, son. Never give him an inch and maintain discipline at all times. Oh, that's the family, right? <laughs> You're a slacker! You're a slacker! I remember him saying that in the first one. And I guess the second one as well. I bury this muzzle deep enough in his back, nobody will hear the shot. Oh, he's still got a gun. Oh, of course he does. No. But we're dancing. Yeah, look at what we have here. Oh no. Oh he oh no, I hate all the characters that this guy plays. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take my eighty dollars worth out of her. <laughs> Ew. I damn you. Oh no! Freeze me! Yes! <laughs> Look, just leave my friends alone. What's wrong, dude? You yellow? <laughs> they didn't even understand what he said. Yellow? Does that mean chicken? So that's how they used to say chicken back in the day? Nobody calls me yellow. Oh, come on, dude. Every time that you come back, you get screwed. I'll be back this way on Monday. When? High noon? I do my killing before breakfast. Oh no. Oh no, it's before the train. Eight o'clock. I do my killing after breakfast. Marty. Oh no, now this plan needs to work, man. I'd like for you to have this brand new Colt Peacemaker and gun belt. Free of charge. <laughs> People are giving him stuff now. If you lose, I'm taking it back. <laughs> Reminds me of poor Mark. Hi, you a brother named Martin McFly? Out of brother. Oh, now he's gonna learn his lesson. Never consider the future, poor Martin. Sure, and I hope you're considering the future, Mr. Eastwood. Oh yeah, that's his lesson right there. Listen to me, I feel like I'm teaching school. I never found lunar geography so fascinating. Oh come on, Doc, you're in too deep, man. Powerful that they Did just they break the pull of the Earth's gravity and send the projectile through outer space. <gasps> oh, that's why he'll fall in love with her. You're quoting Jules Verne from the Earth to the Moon. You've read Jules. Oh, she's super smart and she reads the same books. I never ever met a man like you before. Because he's from the future. Oh no, they kissed. I don't know, will he bring her to the future with him? Or he, will he figure it out a way to stay without dying? Because I don't think he will leave her behind now. Doc, hope you know what you're doing. He didn't sleep in his place? Have a cigar, Mr. Eastwood. Good luck tomorrow, Mr. Eastwood. We'll be praying for you. People love him now. Interest you in a new suit for tomorrow? A suit? He thinks he'll die. My name, it's vanished. The tombstone itself and the date still remain. That doesn't make sense. Uh oh. I think that means that Marty will die. No, this is for your coffin. My coffin? Well, the odds are. Oh no! <laughs> you can't go losing your judgment every time someone calls you a name. That's exactly what causes you to get into that accident in the future. <gasps> Don't tell him that. What is wrong with my future? We all have to make decisions that affect the course of our lives. Yeah, he doesn't know, right? I'm not going with you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm staying here. I knew it. Because of Clara. 
can't let this one little photograph determine my entire destiny. Yeah, he wants to stay with her. In my heart. You're a scientist. <laughs> what about your science, dude? What's the right thing to do up here? Exactly. No, well, maybe we can just take Clara with us. I'm a scientist, so I must be scientific about this. But she was supposed to be dead. I will destroy this infernal machine. Traveling through time is too much too painful. Oh, poor dog. Get them at Clara. Oh no, he went after her. Dude, no. I have to go back where I came from. And where might that be? I can't tell you. Yeah, he can't explain. Wherever you go and take me with you. Ooh, she wants to go with him? I love you. Okay. If, if you sincerely do love me, then tell me the truth. All right, then. Uh, don't do it, dude. She won't believe you. Oh, no. You concocted those mendacities <gasps> in order to take advantage of me. <gasps> oh! <laughs> All you had to say is I don't love you. But that's not the truth. Oh, dude, come on. Of course she wouldn't believe you. Oh, Doc, don't do anything stupid, man. Whiskey, are you sure you know what happened to you on the 4th of July? Whiskey. What happened to him on the 4th of July? It's that you never know what the future might bring. Well, I can <laughs> tell you about the future. No, don't. Don't do it. What time is it, Doc? Oh, no, where is Emmett? I've got me a run to get Early, boss. Oh no, this is so bad. And in the future, we have motorized carriages called automobiles. Oh my god, Emmett! How much has he had? None. That's the first one. He hadn't touched it yet. <laughs> he didn't even drink anything. Come on, dude. To the future. Amen. Emmett, no! No! Oh no, he drank. Oh no! Oh come on, Doc, really? Joey, coffee! Oh no, is it eight already? I'll take a one way ticket. Oh, she's taking the eight o'clock train? Ten minutes. Why do we have to cut these things so damn close? Here. <laughs> yeah, every time. It's gonna take a few more minutes for the stuff to really clear up this hair. Oh no, oh my gosh! They need to catch that train! Well, something inside me told me I should be here. As if my future had something to do with it. Oh no, he can feel that Marty might die. Let's settle this once and for all, Ron! All right, you got the gumps! Oh no, what's he gonna do? Clean this to wood, oh no! <laughs> That's you, dude. You ain't nothing but a gutless yellow turd! And I'm giving you to the count of ten! Dude, here is your lesson. That's the moment. So, what you gonna do, man? I don't care what Tannen says, and I don't care what anybody else says either. Yes. Okay. Good. Oh, the train! I can hear it. No. I have to shoot somebody today. Guess we'll just have to be a blacksmith. Come on, Marty, what are you gonna do, man? One minute! What is he gonna do? Clara, Clara! Excuse me. Oh, now she's gonna know. Now she knows that he actually loves her. Oh, can you do that? Okay, so she'll help them in the end because they need that tray. Oh no! Oh, no, 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 no. He's sweating. Oh, wow. What is he doing? You thought wrong, dude. Oh, no. What? I don't think he's dead. What? <laughs> Tell me, what is the twist here? There's no way that he died. What? Oh, nice! Love it! Ooh. Yes! 
Yes! Yes! Night night! Always, <laughs> always end up in shit, literally. Take care of that baby! Oh no, she's running after him! Oh, he's not there anymore, lady. Will she see the plan? Then she will Time like... Machine. Time machine. Yes, now she'll believe him! How are they gonna do this? How are they gonna hijack this train now that it's already in motion? Oh, she really loves him! Duck's very agile for his age, huh? Is this a whole lot? It's a science experiment! <laughs> Will Clara catch up to them? I wanted to do that all my life! No. <laughs> to burn hotter and longer. You make the fire burn hotter? Oh, okay, because the guy told them that the, it, needed, it needed to be like as hot as possible, so they could get to 90 miles per hour, right? I think she'll go with them to the future then. Each detonation will be accompanied by a sudden burst of acceleration. Oh my god, I think she's in danger then. What, what happens after it hits 2000? A whole boiler explodes. Oh, okay, so she is in danger. Oh no, you shouldn't be there, lady. <laughs> Shit! Oh no! Okay, Marty, I'm coming aboard! Oh no, he doesn't know that she's there! Yeah, I think she's going with them to the future. Oh, he cannot hear her. Do, do, do the thing! Do the thing! That's the only way that he can hear her. Oh, will she do it? Will she actually do it? Yes! <laughs> I love you! Oh, that's so cute! I'm gonna go back for her! The point of no return! That's the point of no return! I don't know if I can! You can do it! Yes, you can, lady! Look at everything they just did! I can, I'm scared! Oh, come on, Clara! Gosh, the red one, the basketball! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no! Yeah, use the hoverboard! Come on! Yes! Yes! Come on! 80! It's already 80 miles per hour! Nice! Okay! Yeah. I don't think Emmett is going with Marty now. I don't think he'll be able to... Come on, guys! Get in the car! Oh no, yeah, he's staying! Oh no! Doc's not going with him! Back to the future! Yes! Will they name it after the train now? Because Clayton is not the name anymore because Clara is still alive so probably the name will be something related to the train I guess Eastwood Ravine it's his name <laughs> because Eastwood died right love it oh no dude There's no way that he can bring Doc back. Well, Doc, it's destroyed. Oh, yeah, he wanted to destroy, right? <laughs> Same take, just like the other ones. I love it. Okay, I'm glad his girlfriend is fine. Marty. Will she think that everything was a dream? Oh yeah, I had the worst nightmare. That's that's what she just said. Hildale, this is where we live. Where we live? I mean, this this is why this is where we're gonna live. Yeah, careful, dude. No thanks. What's the matter? Chicken? 
Oh no! Oh, that's the the that's the car accident that they mentioned in the second movie, right? I hope he learned his lesson because that's the end of the third movie, so he should have learned his lesson by now. <sighs> nice! Okay, he finally learned his lesson. That's so good. Yeah, you think I'm stupid enough to race that asshole? Yeah, that was the car accident that they mentioned in the second movie, right? Oh, now she knows that wasn't a dream. <gasps> he wasn't fired. Oh, he's gonna show her. That's so nice. It's nice that he's sharing this part of his life with her. Doc's never coming back. Yeah, unless if he builds another one, but I don't know if he would be able to do that. What? So he did build another one? Oh, come on! He said that that was the worst thing that he ever created. He wanted to destroy it. Come on! I mean, now he got Clara, so he probably wanted to share this experience with her, right? Yeah, there she is! These are our boys! Jules! They got kids now? Oh, <laughs> Jules Burn! <laughs> Nice. Oh, wow. Okay, then. Well, this was amazing. Just like I expected to be. I'm gonna be honest, before watching this movie, I watched both my first reactions and the two movies. And I'm so glad I did. Because honestly, one of the most amazing things about this franchise is that it's just one story. I love the fact that you can watch those movies back to back and it's one story. They clearly try to do that, even when they reshoot the scenes in different angles, they try to be as faithful as possible to the first version, to the first movie, for example. And honestly, it's really hard to pick a favorite movie because I see everything as one story, but if I have to pick one, I would say that the second movie is my favorite one because the first one was so good and you revisit everything from the first movie in addition to all the story that you get in the second one. So I love the second one. I think one thing that I would love to do one day is do a marathon with the three movies because since everything happens within two or three days, if you think about Marty McFly's timeline, if you think about his timeline, it's basically he goes back to the past and then he comes back on the same day or maybe in the next day and then in the next day he goes to the future and then to the past and then he co comes back so everything basically happens at the same time which i love and i think it would be amazing to watch those movies back to back but yeah this franchise is amazing i'm so sad that it's over but i'm glad that this is the last one because it's such an amazing story it starts and it ends perfectly. I love how they were able to commit to that and to deliver that. So yeah, I'm super happy that I've watched it, but I'm really sad that it's over. Anyways, please let me know in the comments down below which one among the three is your favorite one. If I missed anything, any easter eggs, any information, if there's anything that you would like me to know, I'll definitely check all your comments, especially now they already know all the spoilers, so check everything. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, turn on the notifications. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction to this movie and all the other movies and shows that I post on this channel, please check the first link in the description down below. There you're gonna be able to find my Patreon and I would love your support. I hope you guys have a great week. See you guys soon. Bye!